All right. Up until this point, we kept assuming that voters are going to declare their preferences truthfully, honestly, without any strategic thinking. But the question is, is it really the case? I mean, uh, are the voters really vote truthfully? Well, here's the question. Some voting, voting rules may actually uh, incentivize voters to uh, manipulate the system, you know, vote untruthfully. And some voting mechanisms or rules can actually give the, the voters incentive to vote truthfully. Um, well, if it is the case, what rules actually are giving the voters incentive to, to, to vote truthfully? Uh, well, first off, we are going to name such rules. And then in the next episode, we are going to seek what type of rules are those. So here is the formal description of the rules where every voter is going to vote uh, truthfully or every voter is going to declare his or her preferences truthfully without, uh, you know, uh, aiming to manipulate the rule. Okay, a voting rule F. Uh, well, remember, it's a function. I mean, it's a correspondence uh, which takes a preference profile, a vector, as an input and spills out an outcome, all right, which is a subset of Y. is called manipulable, all right? So, you know, it's manipulable on some domain of preferences U. So U is the preference domain for an individual. So here I take the cross product because remember there are N individuals. So preference of individual one, individual two, or voter two, voter N, etc. If and only if, remember all definitions are if and only if statement, there exists some preference profile U, remember it's a vector, a voter I, and a preference ui prime in this domain such that this inequality holds hmm. understanding this inequality is key what does it say uh, let me ignore this because i know it makes things complicated so on the left hand side here i have the rule f is applied to preference well both rule are applied on by the way the same set of alternatives why the only difference is the preference profile declared by the players how well every player other than player i declares exactly the same thing but player i here declares ui prime and here declares ui all right, so what happens, remember the Nash equilibrium, one player deviates. It's like keep everybody's strategy the same. So here, declaring your preference relation UI is your strategy. Question is, are you going to declare your true strategy? All right, is, I mean, uh, declaring your true preferences, is this your uh, 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 strategy, optimal strategy. That's what we are checking here. Well, here, remember we're trying to describe the notion of manipulability. So my utility is UI, I'm sorry, the player I's utility or the voter I's utility is UI, but he declares something else, UI prime, and he benefits out of this uh, manipulation. So how do I, you know, uh, uh, you know, mathematically described, he benefits out of uh, declaring something else. Well, remember, his utility is UI. So this is an outcome. So whatever this outcome is, his utility is going to be bigger than his utility when he declares his uh, preferences truthfully. Okay, so once again, UI is, let's say, the true preference of player I, and he lies about it, all right? By lying, he probably gets some other alternative candidate. And I mean, he changes the outcome of the voting. I know in reality, when millions of voters vote, uh, you know, one person's influence on the outcome is going to be negligible, all right? But, you know, when the number of voters is smaller, 
uh, well, then one voter's vote can actually change a lot of things. All right. So for that reason, think of this as a scenario where the number of voters is not too big. And so by changing your, uh, you know, declaration, uh, your, your vote, you may actually change the uh, how, how can I say the outcome? And so by changing the outcome, by lying, you benefit from it. So if this is the case, well, then we say the rule, uh, the voting rule is manipulable. Okay, that's a very, very important the definition. Well, the next thing, uh, we define strategy proofness. A voting rule F is called strategy proof on some domain of preference U. I forgot it, and so I put it here. If and only if, again, this is a definition, it is not manipulable on, those, on this domain U. Okay, so a strategy proofness basically means there's going to be no, <coughs> sorry, no preference profile U, no voter I, no UI prime, which this holds. All right. So by lying about your preferences, voters may change the outcome, but they're not going to benefit from it. And so telling the truth is the optimal action for each player at every point of time. Uh, let's think it this way. OK, so a voting rule is strategy proof if and only if it is not manipulable. Well, um, the, the, the definitions are probably easy to understand the intuitively, but mathematically it may be a bit more challenging. So give yourself some time to sort of grasp what they really mean. Uh, but in the next episode, I'm going to tell you what rules satisfy this nice property and, and under what domain of preferences. Okay.